Hey guys and welcome back to a new video and this video is a marathon about my gaming videos the gaming videos that I made uh, I ranked them from first from the first is the best one and the last is the worst one in my opinion if you want to change the order you can change it in the, in the comment description and without further ado let's just head right in and don't forget to like and subscribe hey guys and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be playing the new egg island easter event update in toilet tower defense and we're going to be try to solo it with the, with the large uh, bunny man and the dual breed bunny man and we're only gonna use the dual breed bunny man as a starting unit because the large bunny man is very expensive anyways let's just head right in oh yeah let's just head right in. yeah so there's a vending machine here you know what Oh, this guy has good units, you know what? Let me just try to insert this coin. Imagine I get a free UZC. Imagine this guy gives me a free UZC. Come on. Will something get out? Or is it one of those stock glitches on those vending machines that always pop up? You know what? Let's just head right in. Guys, if you think we're actually gonna win this, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button option if you want. And also be sure to comment what games I should play next. So yeah. And anyways, the best unit to actually get money from is Santa TV Man, because he's very cheap to place down. But he's also pretty expensive to, exp expensive to upgrade. So yeah. Imagine if we actually win this mode with Dodge Bunny Man. And this mode also has 60 waves, so it's gonna be very, very tough. Anyways, let's just try to place our first dual breed bunny man to start because some of them are just gonna start passing by and we don't want that happening. Alright guys, so after placing some large bunny men, which I'm still doing right now, I'm upgrading some of them because, uh, yeah, I just removed all the dubly bunny men because they just, uh, as I said, we're just gonna use them for uh, only uh, for only at the start uh, because the uh, large bunny, large, uh, large bunny men are very, very, very strong and them and like look, only three are killing the rocket, the, the rocket toilets in like pure. I mean, I mean four are killing rocket toilets in pure second. Anyways, let's see if I can actually win this, but I really don't think I can because of the Easter boss, he stuns the unit for two minutes, two full on minutes, so let's see how that happens. Alright, so guys, after a bit, uh, I, placed, uh, I placed a lot of large money men and I'm still placing right now, and I'm fully upgrading them. And a knife, and yeah, I just removed the Santa TV men because now they're gonna be no use since I have since I'm now rich. Because I'm just gonna place uh, two more two more uh, large bunny men left, and then uh, just uh, just wait and see what happens. I'm gonna place them here because I feel like it's gonna be more efficient here since I put like a whole team of large bunny men in the back. So I feel like uh, like three on the front will be actually a little bit too. So yeah. Let's just hope we can win this event, like how the Frost DJ turret carried me in the Christmas event. Because it was pretty hard. And I didn't take that much time in it when I kept on playing with the Frost DJ toilet. But since they nerfed him, as I said, yeah, things have been going, going downhill for me, to be honest. Since when I got scammed off my Megbon Titan. So yeah. Also, mind you that that Megbon Titan, I actually 
rolled him from only one crate. Like I was bored. Like I'm just gonna explain the whole story right now. Like I was bored. I was calling my friend. We were playing toilet tower defense, trying to figure out ways how we can beat it to beat the Easter event because we wanted to get the the bunny titan, the not the mech bunny titan, the other bunny titan which you get when you finish the battle pass. So, so yeah. We wanted to grind for him, and we found out he wasn't that great. So we decided, so we decided to start grinding for a lot of crates so we can get the Mech Bunny Titan, right? So I said, I have one crate. You know what? Why not just open it as my log boost? And then I went, I went to check through my phone because my friends were texting me on WhatsApp, and I did not realize that I had summoned the infamous Mech Bunny Titan. The zero point two percent chance of summoning him slash showing him and he is being sold right now at a price from 5500 gems to 8000 gems uh, that's from my experience experience from seeing him getting sold at the trading plaza and if he's signing it goes from 7000 gems to 8000 so yeah and now let me explain the first story of how I got, uh, got scammed. So basically the guy put a lot of good ads and I wanted the old godly and good ads so me and my friend can uh, beat endless mode and get on the leaderboard so we can get the upgraded titan drill man which is our dream because he's the best unit in the game with a whopping 170,000 dps. So, so yeah that was our goal. And then I realized that, I, that when the guy was readying up uh, I thought he had the old godly unit right? So yeah, so when the trade was about to complete, he uh, he unread it up, removed the old godly without me noticing. I didn't even notice that happening. I didn't even notice it. I should have did, because he placed it last. He's a smart man. He's a smart man, and I still have his username, but I won't say it out loud because I don't want any hate to this guy. And yeah, so and I won't report him at all. Just if I just join the game again with him, I'm just gonna explain to him that scamming is not great. I'm just gonna ha let him have my big bunny titan because it's just a game after all, like, it's nothing too, too important. So, yeah, so that's how I got scammed. If you just wanted to know, and now we're on the grind to get the old uh, to get our old godly uh, with the, trying to beat many Easter games and nightmare modes and trying to get the Leprechaun Camer Man so we can sell him for an overpaying price of like 800 to 700 gems because he gets sold at like 600 gems, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, we make profits of it. So, yeah. No, 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 we're gonna lose. No, no, we were so close. We were so, so close. Yeah, I should have never auto skipped. So maybe if you guys want to win, you just stop auto skipping at like wave 48. Because then you can win. But I'm an impatient guy, so I know. I'm an impatient guy, so I auto skipped. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video off here. And if you enjoyed, hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm out. Peace. Hey, guys, and today we will be trying to beat Piggy Boo 2 hard mode solo with only 3 towers. Can I do it? Anyways, guys, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. As I will be telling ya some tips and tricks in the vid, so you can beat Boo 2 in any mode if I win Boo 2, so be sure to watch the full vid. And guys now, I almost have every single tower in the game lol, but anyways let's go try to beat hard mode solo with 3 towers. Alright as I said in the previous video if you haven't watched it, I'll put a link down in the description but, as I said refinery is the best map cause of the circle loop, so I advise you to do it, to beat book 2 in any mode. Let's do this. So now guys the technique will be different we'll place the polys, in the middle and on the edge of the circle, like look at how I'll do it. Yeah and turns out the TIO music is not copyrighted. But when we get to TIO I'll turn on Lee music cause it's epic epic the way you wanna call it. Alright guys, 
this is what I mean, by me polys and, behind the polys, we're only gonna place Willow or Jaquela, it's only these towers, nothing else to be booked to hard mode. Oh yeah, and you can't use Spadella at all to beat hard mode solo, you sadly need Polly, Marcus and Willow or Jaquela. Alright, let's do speed run time. Alright so after a bit I made it to wave 22 we are doing super good so far. Also guys there's a glitch with Pulley when we upgrade him to level 3 he doesn't attack or do anything so beware of that the only way to fix it is to upgrade him. So yeah just tell him yeah. So after a bit made it to wave 32 decided to skip some parts cause they were boring and now this is about to get intense AA. What the heck happened let me reverse the screen real quick lol. There we go much better. Alright guys as you can see here I'm doing pretty well so far with the willows and pop. Ah the shadow penny. Phew we oofed her. We're on wave 33 I might actually win I hope I do. Anyways let's do another speed run. Let's go guys we made it to wave 39 so epic. I might actually win book 2 hard mode solo with only 3 top. Oh no the delta. Epic we oof. Well we made it to TIO in hard mode solo time for Lee epic music. Let's do this guys let's win. This is getting so intense right now. I actually can't believe I made it to wave 40 solo hard mode with only 3 towers. Well guys sit back, enjoy, and watch this epic moment. The man himself TIO, the man This is getting more intense and to make it more more intense let me speed run some things here. Ah oh, we're winning up.
here so close, come on. Let's do we did it, we beat Blue 2 hard mode solo with only 3 towers G. Well guys hope you enjoyed the vid don't forget to like, sub comment and turn on the bell to get notified whenever I upload, and peace. And today we will be playing Piggy Tower Defense. For those who don't know what Piggy Tower Defense is it's basically Piggy plus Tower Defense games equals Piggy Tower Defense. Anyways guys, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content, optional. Let's go check what towers are in Lee's shop. Yes yeah, so guys as you can see here I've been playing this game since it came out. There are many OP towers in the game the most OP tower when fully leveled up is Jakin. Also guys tip, don't buy Fergus waste of money and biggest mistake of my life he's trash only good in book 2 normal in book 1. Anyways let's head to beat book 2 normal mode solo. Alright the best map in book 2 is refinery because it's the easiest and there's a loop so I advise you play in it to beat book 2 normal or hard. Alright so first we will be placing 4 polys in the spawn and 5 marcuses. Alright so first we will be upgrading the polys in the spawn to level 3 and the marcuses to level 2. I'll see ya when I do that real quick. And the pulley is upgraded to level 3. And all the marcuses to level 2. LOL we can see the bots spawn oofing. Alright tip if you don't want to do what technique I'm doing in this vid, just get Zizzy and place her in the middle of the circle and place some pulleys on the edge of the circle. And if you don't have poly get Spadella and place her in the middle of spawn but place more than 5 plus Spadellas or polys. As you can see Fergus stats he's looks up in book too normal but when compared to hard mode he's useless. And as I said in the beginning of the vid don't grind for 12k coins and buy him waste of grind, time and money buy Jakayla or Willow instead both are OP. Alright so after a bit made it to wave 25 and as you can see here I'm doing super well so far. So as you may see I placed two Ferguses in the middle and upgraded them cause why yes. Call it let me speed up things a little bit, hey DJ, put the speedrun music on. made it to wave 32. Guys tip, when you get Poli or Spadella when you place them upgrade them to level 3 first then place more because it's gonna be more efficient. Oh yeah and if you're wondering why there's no piggy music, block why not, 
because copyright reasons but if you want to hear it play the game for yourself or check other videos about pig etbs So I advise you to get Poli not Spadella, because first Spadella has no hidden detection even if you fully max her out, but Poli on the other hand has hidden detection in level 3 which costs so little money only, 1250 and Poli has 80 damage and 0.8 fire rate when fully upgraded while Spadella has 1 damage, and Spadella fully upgraded has 1 damage 2.4 fire rate and like 10 range, she also doesn't make any enemies move on the other hand Poli, has 80 damage 0.8 fire rate and 6 range, range pretty bad but he also doesn't make any enemies move and if there is two enemies at once he won't make them move because of how low his fire rate is so i advise ya getting pulley all right let's skip to wave 39 we made it to wave 39 A lot of Craxicode and Deltas. We're roofing the Craxicode. Let's upgrade the towers to their maximum levels. We're doing so good right now, they aren't even coming out of the spawn lol. Marcus ain't even coming out of the spawn man. Go the Umbra's king. Let's go we defeated the Umbra. TIO time. Sentinels King and TIO Purple Guy. Purple Guy is here. Let's do this, boys. We are doing it.
I just like how I'm changing the music to intense, then the Wii background music again. To be honest, I'm not this surprised to win Book 2 Normal Solo, because I already won it solo more than 5 plus times. GG's. GG's. Boy, the Vin and Pete. Hey guys, and today we will be testing out the new Cone Tower in Piggy Tower Defense. If you're new here make sure to like, sub, comment and turn on the bell to get notified whenever I upload. Anyways let's head right in. Alright so Kona costs 900 cash to put, I will see ya when I put him. There we go so he has 2 cooldown, 7 range and 13 damage not bad for level 1. I'll see ya after a bit when I make him to level There we go made him to level 2 so level 2 costs 550 he has 1.7 cooldown, 8 range and 19 damage the only problem is his cooldown. Alright so level 3 costs. 1900, he gets hidden detection, he has 1.5 cooldown, 8 range and a walking 27 damage. So now level 4 costs 4600 and he has 1 cooldown, 9 range and 42 damage now he's up. Now level 5 is his maximum level it costs 9600 and he has 0.8 cooldown 10 range and a whopping 71 damage. Alright so in conclusion Zizzy costs 5500 picky coins and Kona also costs the same but who's better, it's Kona cuz, his upgrades are way lesser than Zizzy's and in his maximum level he has way, much more damage so get Kona, but if you want to get Zizzy, get her it's a very tough debate, but anyways guys hope you enjoyed the vid and don't forget to like, sub and turn on the bell to get notified whenever I upload and go to the description to check out my previous vid, and peace. And today we're going to be playing a game called Dinks. And yes, this is a waste of I'm finally doing my face. And if you were wondering why I didn't upload for a while, well, it was because I had exams and a uh, lot of stress and family problems, etc. And uh, yeah, you may be surprised, but this is my first video I'm doing a voice review. Like, not my first video, but this is the first video I'm doing a voice review. Anyways, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn and turn that bell so you get notified whenever I upload. Anyways, let me explain what Dingus is. So basically, Dingus, there, there, is, there are two rules, Hydra and a Hunter. Let me explain what the Hydra's rule is. The Hydra's rule, there are tasks, the, there are certain tasks the Hydra's needs to do. And the Hydra needs to blend in with the civilians in order to do these tasks. And there is a task... There are multiple white tasks that the hiders do and also the civilians do. But when the hiders do the, the task, the uh, a message pops up on the top of the screen. It says, it says that the hider did like a white street task 8 seconds ago, 16 seconds ago, 10 seconds ago, 7 seconds ago, 4 seconds ago. But there is there is a few sta tasks that which stand out from all of the normal tasks. The red tasks. The red tasks only and only the hiders can do them. And if a hunter sees a hider doing them, they'll instantly eliminate them. Because, uh, because uh, the red tasks and only the hiders can do them. And there are, there are secret hideouts which, uh, which, which are green. And when you go inside of it, you can change your shirt color from yellow to blue, magenta, pink, purple, the cyan, yellow, green. It just depends on the RNG or your look. Now let me explain it from the hunter's point of view. So basically the hunters have to elim eliminate all the hiders before they complete their tasks. And they can easily spot the hider by a few things. 
First of all, when the hydra sprint, because civilians can't sprint. So when the hydra runs a sprint, the, the, the hunters will instantly know it's a hydra, so they eliminate them. Second of all, doing a red task. Only the hydras can do red tasks. So if a hunter sees a hydra doing red tasks, they instantly know that they're a hydra and will eliminate them. And also, they can also spot out hiders by lucky guessing or anything. It just depends on their luck call, yes. And fourth, they can spot also hider if they like do weird movements, not uh, not the movements that the civilians do. So the hiders basically just have to bend in the, the civilians and do the task. And there is a timer, four to five minutes. Uh, and the uh, hiders have to have to complete their tasks within those minutes. And if they don't, the hunters win. Like if the timer runs out, the, hi the hunters win. So the hiders have to complete the tasks before the timer runs out. Anyways, enough talking, and let's hop on right in the game. All right, so Aran just started, and we are a hider. Let's go. So we have two red tasks. And a lot of our tasks, a lot of normal tasks, alright. Hmm. Hmm. Can't play that. Okay, let's go. And the sprint, because he's blinded. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention. The hunter has two lives. When he shoots a civilian by accident, he gets blinded for 12 seconds. And if he shoots another civilian, the hider dies, and he has to depend on the, the hunter dies in him. And he has to depend on the other hunters to be able to kill the hider so, so that they can win. And we just do this quick task. There is a hunter over there. He did not see me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And the hydro the hunter just like let's go. I feel like I feel like this hunter is acting AFK so that he could kill the civilians and we only have two more tasks. Let's go. We're about to win. We are about to win. This is actually very epic. Doing well so far. Doing insanely well so far. Just do this There we go, and GG's we won. That was a pretty easy round, I'm not gonna lie. No, like, no offense, the hunters didn't know how to. No offense. Well, it looks like we're a hunter. Let me. I think I can have some civilians lacking, you know? I mean, some people lacking. Hmm. No, 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 no! No! This guy's sprinting! This guy's sprinting! Ah. There we go. You ain't going nowhere, buddy! You got caught lacking. What? That was just cringe. The hell? Hmm. Now that I know there is a red steel task, let me just camp it. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't know how to play the game as a hunter. So yeah. But to make it fair, to be honest, I'm not gonna camp it. I'm just gonna be on the lookout. Let me just see any. Hmm. Let's see here. Oh, wait, I don't think. White alleyway? Oh. That was a normal sensual one. Hmm. Sixteen seconds should have passed by by now if this was a harder rule at us. No! Where did the person go? There we go. I think it's this person. There's a blue guy here. Oh no. You have to go. No! Oh, come on, man. Looks like we have one life left. So we gotta make the most out of it. 
Oh yeah, the hunters, the hiders looks like Kurgan land. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, we did bad in this round as hunters. I think I was the only hunter. No, I probably wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. Let's go hide. The street task. The hardest task to do in this map. And we have so many white tasks. Especially in the beach. Let me just do this relaxing task. Let's go. Do some stuff at the alcohol. No, I think it was AFK. No, GG's. It all just depends on the other hiders. Hopefully. Hopefully we can actually win this. Let's go. GG's. Good game, good game. I'm a hider again. You know what? I'm not complaining because I love being a hider. A hunter, not very much, but if I get like if, the, if I get uh, hider again in the next round, I just want to be hunter again because I don't want to always be hider just because it just gets boring. Let's go. He's doing the street task. Can we just defend him? Let's go. Let's go. Two real players doing the same exact two real tasks. <laughs> Let me just do this new essential task. Mm, yeah, this guy is acting EFK. I know this guy's technique. He's gonna go live on the dock. Let me go do the Gordon go Goobly thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. <coughs> what? I messed up the task so much. How? 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 My question is only one task left. Two minutes. And we officially won. I've been just task no, no, no. I was about to say I have a feeling that the hunter is just gonna catch me at the last second. Bro, yes, yes, this guy's gonna do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 we probably still have a huge chance of an ammo hider then. Okay, I'll let it slide this time. But if I'm not a hunter, then the game just hates me. Literally, just, then the game just hates me. Let me, for once in my life, try to do a red task and actually help out. There's suspicions on these goofy R. Uh, those goofy R uh, uh, civilians, NPCs, bro. Yeah, I can actually sprint. There's no one's here. There is a hunter over there. Let's do the street task. I finally have to meet someone in my life, actually. Right, let me just go change the color of my outfit because I'm too sus. I think the hunter will start to get on to me. So, hope it's a better color than blue. The f I hate my life. What? Why did 
I ch Why did I change colors? At least we're gonna win, but... I hate this rock high. What? what, do, what do you... Oh, I think I know what we're supposed to do here. Yeah, so the over there. GG's, we won. Good game. Hopefully I'm a hunter now. Because I really just want to be a hunter. I've gotten tired of being a hider on a hider. The game developers only have one thing to say to y'all. Sleep with one eye open tonight. I'm mad. No, no, no. I'm mad. Why am I a hider? I got tired of being a hider. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, I just wanna be a hunter for once in my life. And why... Why was I sprinting? Yeah, this hunter cut on. This hunter cut on. Yeah, this hunter cut on. I... S I was so mad, I didn't even... I didn't even notice I was sprinting in front of a hunter. Why do I exist? Well, we just got disconnected. What the hell? Uh, Roblox servers are down. Bro. No. No, when it's fine. No, actually, when it's fine. In the worst. Well, guys. Comment down below if I, if, I, if I should make a part 2 in this one. I'm actually, what I actually get to be a hunter and hunt hiders down. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn that bell on. And get notified whenever I, whenever I upload. And also comment in the description. Should I do a part 2 or recommend other games I should make a video on? Eh, your choice. I'm just gonna wait like a few days or a day. Or a few hours until I make another video. Just hopefully I don't go missing for another month again. Yippee! Anyways, hope you have a good day. See ya. Hey guys, and today we're going to play to the parents. And we're going to see if I can solo Nightmare Mode with only DJ, first DJ Speaker Man, and Santa TV. And yeah, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, and turn on the bell uh, for for uh, and turn on the bell to get notified whenever I upload. Anyways, let's head right in. And also be sure to comment uh, what games I should play. On. And no, not anything related to PS ninety nine or PS six, please. No, because the games are just no, they're just P to win. Full on P to win, I swear. Anyway, why is it making me look like what the hell? Nightmare! There we go, that's it. So yeah, and also I know some of you are a bit cocky here and impatient, and you're going to skip through the whole video to see if I win or not. Don't do that, don't do that. I see you, I see you, yeah? I see you. If you do, things aren't gonna end well, you know? Things are gonna not end well. Anyways, my game plan here is to put uh, the Santa TVs and upgrade them. Uh, and upgrade them so I can get a lot more money. And also upgrade the first DJ speaker man. But they changed the turret to tune up by a lot. They literally changed the whole map. This is this wasn't even the map. Like before uh, it got the uh, update. This wasn't even the map. It was a completely different map. Completely different map. Yeah, and also we're going to let these small toilets uh, get inside the portal there. Because, um, yeah, they won't do any not much damage to the portal, and I don't even have enough money to the Frosty G. And also, by the way, they, they nerfed Frosty G speakers. Frosty G speaker, man. 
First of all, to prison, he was three hundred dollars, not four hundred. Second of all, his uh, range, no, no, not the range. His damage decreased by two thousand. Like, yeah, one thousand five hundred. He had uh, seven thousand five hundred damage with his AOE range, of course. Now he has only five thousand because they saw how OP he was. Like, not gonna lie, I like when the Christmas update was here. Like, I used to, I, I swear, I used to solo the map with only him. I like, I would place fifteen of him. Like when I would max out my Santas, I place fifteen of him, hmm? and yeah, then I would win and win the match. So if the next Christmas update comes and this guy doesn't get nerfed anymore and it's the same difficulty as the one that we had uh, as the one that we had uh, this Christmas, I'm going to show you uh, how I'm gonna solo it with only him. But yeah, so let's see if I can actually solo Nightmare with Frosty J because I actually used to solo him before he got nerfed. Now let's see if I can again when he got nerfed. Uh oh, oh few. That one almost passed by. Almost. Uh oh, I think I might have did the mistake. I should have upgraded him. Oh no 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 no! I have to upgrade him. I have to upgrade him. No 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 no! Come on, come on, wave, wave, wave! Come on, come on, come on! No, no, you need to tweet it. No, 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 no! I think he does have two hundred and fifty damage to that. I'm too lazy to stop him, man. I need the web next to it. Skip immediately. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Right, I agree with him. Also, I agree with some of the Santas. Come on, come on, come on. You can't do this with yes, cool. Ooh, ooh, that was such a clutch. And he only, he only did 150 damage? Man. I thought he used to do like 200. Uh oh. oh. More not coming, I need to upgrade them. I need to no, 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 not the, not the bus, not the bus, not the bus. The bus always passes, boy. No, 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 we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose. Of course, Why, guys, after his nerf, nerf, you basically can't hit him with the power right now, right? Hmm, should I try again? Should I retry? But this time I'll be the more. Yeah, let's try again. Let's try again. Let's try again. Alright, guys, so I decided to try out a new plan. Maybe I'll upgrade the Santa Toilets less and I'll put uh, two Frost DJ Toilets just in case the Mental Toilet yeah, right here. So they're gonna be upgraded. Like, I'll get uh, upgrade this for like, $1,500, then I'm gonna upgrade this for $1,500, then this guy for like amount of money like three thousand five hundred dollars etc then this guy three hundred five thousand dollars like turn to turn you know and i need a wave skip down no, no, no. come on no 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 i upgraded him too late no no oh, oh. i thought he would do 200 damage i actually thought he'd do 200 damage i'm not gonna lie i'm not oh shit oh shit 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 sh this is bad this is bad this is bad this is bad this is really bad yeah guys, so it turns out you really can't even beat Nightmare uh, World with Frost DJ to it anymore. From how expensive his upgrades cost the day. Well hey guys, I hope you like the video and subscribe and hit it, hit it, hit it, whatever YouTube's YouTubers say and to Guys, there you have it, me ranking my marathon gaming videos from worst to best. The only reason that I put the, the Dingus video in 5th place and the Toilet Talk Defense video in the last place is because both of them had very bad audio, but the, but the Toilet Talk Defense one had very, very bad audio. And for some reason, I tried to use a voice changer. I don't. I have no idea why. Because I, I don't know. I really don't know why. And the 5th one had very bad background noise, which I now fixed, thankfully. So yeah, if you enjoyed, just hit that like and subscribe button. And if you uh, have a different opinion on the ratings, just tell, just say it in the comments. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Peace. Also guys, here is the tier list if anybody was wondering.
This is another thumbnail created by my friend Taimullah Hilaire, so credits to him. I'll give the credits in the description and the comments below. So yeah.